177 students from English-speaking countries, including the United States, Canada and Australia, gathered for the talk or teach and learn in Korea program on Wednesday. After a long flight, most of them arrived in Korea only two or three days ago and were still experiencing some jet lag. But they cheered enthusiastically as they watched Korean traditional performances at the orientation session. The talk program was launched in September last year and with the first batch of students finishing their six-month term, the new talk scholars came to replace them. This program is to give uh, the elementary school students and a, a good opportunity to learn English from native English speakers and as well to give the native talk scholars an opportunity to, Kore to learn Korea and Korean culture. The program is being run by the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology. The invited international students will be placed at around 400 schools in rural areas of the country where native English teachers are few and far between. One of the biggest selling points about this program for the young teachers is that they won't have to worry about money. These children will be provided with housings, international flight tickets and tools in Korea as well as living expenses worth 1,500 US dollars per month per student. So on top of earning a decent wage, it would be hard to turn down an adventure and opportunity like this. And most of the participants had two simple reasons for coming to Korea, teach and learn. I wanted to spend some time in Korea and learn the culture a little more and also um, have the opportunity to teach children as well. Students who have already spent their six months in Korea share their experiences. There's so much to learn and it's exciting because there's so many different facets, so many, I guess, interesting aspects of Korean society that fascinate me, that come to light with every new situation. Um, every time I go somewhere or experience Korea by visiting a historical site, I'm always finding something new and exciting to learn about Korea. Out of the 177 students selected, those from the United States topped the list with 115, followed by Canada and Australia. After the first 25 days of teacher training, the students will then be sent off to 13 different cities by March 1st to start the talk program. Kim Nari, Arirang News.